good evening um, today I want to talk to you about <clears throat> a personal experience that I had uh, many years ago about 20 years ago probably yeah 90 little more than that actually I had some younger friends I was in my 30s or late 20s maybe 30s and these guys were just uh, um, early 20s or late teens and uh, so they were trying uh, you know partying a lot everything I was a little older but they were my friends I you know looked a, a little younger I never felt young actually because um, I've been put in such hard uh, spots in my life that I never really felt like I enjoyed my youth you know I uh, I know I was young but there had to mature way too fast you know for that even though it's a semblance of maturity and then you know, underneath is just the maturity that you have you are maturing in some angles or some aspects of your life and they're really immature in some other aspects and one of the aspects was in the my search for spirituality I was um, I had like I said be mentioned before that I pray to find the true religion because I figured you know um, the world is so big and God cannot be so unfair as to just have one religion be the one and then the other ones go to hell <laughs> you know so that's the thing that I would had me puzzled but um and then depends on your um, location the the region where you live will what dictate will dictate uh, your beliefs and that never seemed to resonate with me it was like uh, no nah, that can't be but still I pray you know, for to to for God to guide me guide me to the to the truth so it's it's a it's a lifetime struggle it's a lifetime search for truth that you have to endure but um and then you you like i was i was raised a catholic when i was a kid we used to pray uh, at home and, and pray the rosary when we had uh, trouble in the country when i was about to leave the country because um there were uh, the communists were drafting people to go to the military my brother got drafted and sent to war and I was um, uh, next in line I was 16 uh, 17 was the age of drafting and I didn't like them I hated the communist the Sandinistas uh, uh, which took the name of Sandino in vain because they, they, were, they didn't know him they didn't know them and they uh, called themselves that but they were really communist and <clears throat> so you you I had I was uh, fairly comfortable with the Catholic system you know because uh, there wasn't so such a uh, bad uh, um, how you call it? reputation at the time when um, with a Catholic priest 
and you know being a child molesters and all that it wasn't that even though I could I I, I kind of had a feeling about it I had a my suspicions about it because I I I I noticed some stuff weird you know it's like and you're it's, it's like uh, Mark says about common sense it's something about you you, your common sense tells you there's something wrong with this guy's never having a wife and you know why because you have your drives as a, as a man you have to you you want a woman you need a woman it's not natural it's it's maybe natural for some people it has to be really rare because everybody that I grew up uh, around uh, we all like women and we or or the, there were a couple of foodies you know but um um for the main part we all like women <clears throat> and they it's just not I, I it's not my place to judge really God is is has the last word and all that I'm not I'm not trying to talk down on, on anybody with their particular preference I have friends there are good friends of mine that uh, that you know I have have a uh homosexual tendencies I don't know their private lives and I don't know what they do in the bedroom but that's their business and as far as us we are not here to judge uh, because um, <clears throat> um, it, although I don't want anybody you know messing with my family in that, res in that respect because the, there, there is a, a tendency of um, um, uh, they have a tendency to be uh, um always looking to uh, recruit you know new new blood <laughs> to their file so i i don't i don't know i don't agree with it i don't think it's um natural i don't know what my friends were uh facing at the moment i don't know whether they're being abused and or you know so i don't know how it really happens it's, all i know is me uh, as, a, as a man, um, I know that we have the drive to to go after women, you know, whether we like women. We, it's just a it's just a natural thing, you know. So, um, but whatever. That's not what I wanted to talk about. The I ended up going off the sub the the, the subject, but um. What I wanted to say was about um, the spiritual realm um, that we uh, being in the physical realm, especially with the scientists and uh, communists and all that, they don't want you to think there's anything but the physical realm, and that's a uh, that's crazy. It's like um, this uh, woman, this Cuban woman lady. She, um, I asked her because they've been um, indoctrinated, you know, indoctrinated into this uh, communist beliefs, and, it, and it's weird. It's all weird because um, you know Cubans have a, a lot of be beliefs in uh, witchcraft and all that and then they don't believe in God so make up your mind well, what do you believe it, believe it or not you know because uh, it's, it's, it's all the culture is, uh, it contradicts it, itself but I asked this woman if she believed in the spiritual realm and she said no I believe, do, do you believe in anything that you don't see and she said no so I said, "Oh, do you have? Uh, can I have your phone number?" She gave me her phone number, and I called her, and she picked it up. And then I go and ask her, "Why you pick up your phone if you don't believe in the spiritual realm? Did you see a call arriving to your phone? You know, there's it's in the visible realm. It's a spiritual realm. You don't see it. They call it technology. People, humans, beings play with it." We know some stuff about it. It's called the electromagnetic spectrum, and uh, uh, something that you don't see. We were pr pretty much blind to. 
uh, many things. So you don't see the microwave, uh, you don't see the television signal, radio signal, Wi-Fi, you name it, we're blind. We don't see none of that. Going, we know that we have to uh, and manipulate some technology, but that, that's a clue that there is something else that we, we, we could tap into and not really precisely know about it. So that's what uh, a lot of what occultism is too. You know, it's not just uh, hiding the 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 uh, psychological trends of men, but it's, it's also, there's also a, a dark side. You know that we are not to mess with as Christians. So when Mark Pass you made that video about uh, or that um, had that lecture of. Uh, uh, fake ass questions uh, I didn't get offended because uh, it was like you know the bullets did I touch the bullets because I don't consider myself a fake ass Christian um, but um, he's he's right you know I I, I went into the uh, after I left uh, pretty much Catholicism I started uh, going into evangelical and evangelicals are full of crap for the most part obviously because oh, there's just all these bastards stealing from people that the tied that oh my god it's insane it's a uh, criminal and they're everybody just following and they play that little music well come on man you know it's like all the messing with your mind all the time and with your feelings and uh, people just don't get it. They want to have like a like an escape, and and that's that's the problem. That people once they get to that area in which I was, like screw these people, then you throw away the baby with the bathwater. You you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to. Uh, l uh, study the scriptures and see what's being said. Really, it's a it's, it's, it's a kind of like ma uh, Mark, Mark Pastor decoded the Matrix. We have to decode the Bible also. But what is this being said? Because uh, Jesus Christ was talking about common sense. So it's something that we we um, uh, omit or or forget because we being. Uh, uh, directed towards something else which is that religion and the, the beliefs of men that the the laws of men and the, the all the wood that they've been building this is like what it what Marx Mark Passi also says about the, uh, the the natural against the artificial so God made the natural and we should be uh, um, going by what's natural and, and and normal and good instead of just listening to the doctrines of men and um, I wanted to say something about the spiritual realm but I don't I think I'm gonna do it this time I'll do it next time and uh, um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to say now. I wanted to say more, but I don't want to bore you with my stories. I'll, I'll, I'll make another video uh, pretty soon, and, and then I'll share that experience. And um, that's all. Today is um, February the 8th. Let me see. Yeah, I can't see for crap now. Nine. nine. <laughs> February nine. Um, Saturday. So Mark Pasha, I don't know if he's gonna make another program tomorrow or if he's already going on his way to uh, Anarchapulco. But I, I wish him a good trip and uh, blessings to all of you. God bless you. Good night.